Welcome back gamers to my review of Gory Cuddly Carnage, a game that brings together the wildest elements of action-packed combat, twisted humor, and vibrant visuals. At its core, the game tells the story of an unlikely hero Gory, a seemingly innocent housecat, trusting to an emerged world where stealth unicorns have risen to power. The world as you know it has been decimated by the once adorable toys, now twisted into violent monstrosities under the leadership of a deranged jack-in-the-box bear. And what begins as a simple quest to rescue Gory's beloved owner quickly spirals into a battle for survival against these cuddly yet deadly foes. The game's narrative isn't exactly Shakespearean, but it doesn't need to be. With the tale filled with dark humor, crude jokes, if you're someone that enjoys games that don't take themselves too seriously, then Gory Cuddly Carnage will be right up your alley. One of the most striking aspects of this game is his innovative approach to movement and combat. Gory's primary tool of destruction is a hoverboard. Yes, you heard that right. And this isn't just any hoverboard, it's a sentient weaponized piece of tech named Frank. The devil as your primary mode of transportation and your deadliest weapon. The hoverboard is central to both combat and traversal, making for a game that feels as much about fluid movements as it does about brutal bloody combat. The board allows Gory to glide effortlessly through the levels, riding on rails while riding, providing a sense of speed and agility that is rarely seen in this genre. The combat, while not as deep as some other genre heavyweights, is frantic and satisfying. The combination of light and heavy attacks performed with the hoverboard creates a chaotic ballet of destruction, as you'll spin the board like a deadly top, slamming into enemies and unleashing a whirlwind of blades that shreds anything in your path. And as you progress, new moves and upgrades are introduced, which help to keep the combat feeling fresh and exciting throughout the game. But it is worth noting that while the combat is fun, it doesn't reach the technical height of some games like Devil May Cry or Bayonetta. This is because the combat system is somewhat limited, which will leave some hardcore action fans craving for more depth. The game is made up of 8 stages, each one being a visual treat, brimming with creativity and variety, as the developers have packed an immersive amount of ideas into these levels, ensuring that no two stages feel the same. You'll find yourself navigating bizarre sci-fi environments from arcade themed dead traps to flooded factories where you'll be chasing a goldfish to avoid drowning. The sheer diversity in the stage design is one of the game's strongest suits and keeps you on your toes as you move from one outrageous scene to the next. And this game doesn't just rely on its main levels to keep things interesting, as optional arena stages offer a chance for you to test your combat skills against waves of enemies, with high scores and extra currency up for grabs. And these arenas emphasize the fluidity of, of the combat system, ensuring that you chain together attacks and movement for maximum efficiency. However, this game does have some flaws, as there seems to be a lot of frame drops and occasional glitches. So if you plan on playing this game, do get it on the PS5, cause that's what I had to do. And hopefully the developers patch the Nintendo Switch issues. For me, Gory Cuddly Carnage is a 7 out of 10. It's a good game that I can recommend to fans of fast paced action games and those who appreciate a healthy dose of dark humor. If you've played the game, did you like it? Would you recommend it? Let me know in the comments. As always, thank you for watching till the end, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe, and have a great day.